Hey, my name is James from Websites Made Easy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a small business website step by step, and customize it however you want with simple drag and drop. It's easy and fun, and it's only gonna take you 20 minutes. So let's get into it. I'm gonna be taking you from A to B and designing a fantastic looking website, which will work for your business and grow your online presence. I'm making this super easy so anyone can start, design, and have an online website in just minutes. This is gonna be a simple and fun experience and I can't wait to get into it. The goal is for you to create a captivating business website so you can stand out from the crowd. A website designed to highlight your best work so you look like an expert right from the start. So what's your site about? Consulting? Is it a restaurant? Coaching? Fashion blogger? Online store? Fitness? This will help you get clear on some ideas for your website design and layout. Next, what is your goal for your website? Sell products? Market yourself? Build a community? Showcase your work or expertise? Is it blogging? This will help you get dialed in to a specific goal or outcome for your website. What transformation or experience your website is giving your audience. Look, your website needs to do three things within five seconds of someone landing on your website. Connect, engage, and convert. Ask yourself the following questions when designing your site. Is it crystal clear what you're presenting to your audience? Will they be able to understand what you do within five seconds of landing on your website? Why should someone want to continue on your website? What's the main benefit you help people with? In other words, what's the transformation, the experience people can expect from you? And lastly, you simply pick your starting point. I love this. You get started with any of these free starter sites, customize and design it to fit your needs. Now, there's no reason to make this more complicated, overwhelming, or intimidating than it needs to be. You see, most people and companies have the website design process wrong. And I finally figured out how to do it right. I finally figured out how to get people to actually complete their website. You see, the old way of designing a website was to start off with a blank canvas, which is just really intimidating and overwhelming. You just have this blank screen staring back at you, and you don't know what to do, or even really what to say. And that is horrible, and almost no one finishes it. I've been teaching people like you to design their website since 2012, and this is the biggest problem. Most people just don't complete it. It becomes just way too daunting and overwhelming. Now the good news is, there's another way. So how long is designing a website been a struggle for you. You'll uncover some powerful tips on how to successfully build your business website simply by watching this video today to the very end. Tips like how you can build a fully functioning website in less than 60 seconds and design it however you want with simple drag and drop without being tech savvy or feeling intimidated or overwhelmed. It's simple and fun. How you can design any kind of website you want within one click using fully functioning, beautiful free starter sites, saving you tons of time and money. And how to properly design your website so you can connect with your audience, get free traffic, and build an audience. Plus the one thing you must absolutely avoid if you want to ensure designing your website successfully and sticking with it. Now, I don't know how much longer these starter sites will be available for free. So watch this right now while you still can. So what are the odds that you'll discover something totally unexpected and new today? I can tell you this. What I'm revealing today is the cutting edge way of building and designing a website. It's fresh, new, and different. Now picture in your mind 
how much better your life will be once you finally have your website live online, a fun creative outlet, building your business, more time with your family and friends, more autonomy, and money to enjoy life. These are just some of the benefits you're now enjoying. Your website has transformed your life. It certainly has for me. I'll be walking you through our proven and easy three-step WTC system, which stands for website, traffic, and customers. So the steps will be, step one is picking out and registering your website address. This is also known as your domain name. Step two is getting started with WordPress and installing the fresh WordPress theme that I'll be showing you here in a moment. And step three is getting your website online and designing it properly so it can be immediately viewed by visitors on the internet. WordPress is used by millions of people all around the world. Did you know that some of the biggest companies use WordPress? And some of the most famous people use it to run their own websites? People like Katy Perry, Jay-Z, companies like Forbes, Mashable, Sony, all are using WordPress because WordPress is just so easy to use. And anyone can create a website, grow it, and in time, gain thousands of fans. To give you an idea of what's to come, take a quick peek at the website we'll be creating today. So let's get started with step one, which is choosing your website's address, also known as your domain name, just like ours is at websitesmadeeasy.tv. You're going to have your very own domain name too. And website hosting, so your website has somewhere to live and people can find it. Now, both of these are super cheap because I'm going to give you a special coupon code. So let's get started with step one, which is choosing your domain name and getting set up with website hosting. So let's head over to HostGator.com. Now I use HostGator not only for myself, but also for all my websites made easy members because they're super reliable and they have awesome customer service. They know WordPress and are available 24 seven phone and chat support to deal with any issues or to answer any questions. Plus I've been using these guys going on 10 years now without any real problems. Okay, so what you want to do now is click on Get Started in the middle of the page. Then select the Hatchling plan if you only want one website. But if you're planning on having multiple websites, then I would recommend going with the Baby plan as this will give you unlimited domains. It's the only difference between the two. Now, this is really the only money you'll spend in this tutorial, and it comes in under just 10 bucks a month. It really is a small investment to get started with your website and have your business live online. Now you want to register a new domain name. Now hopefully you've really thought about this and picked a good domain name. If the name you want is not available, keep drilling down and use different URL extensions such as .com, .net, .org, etc. Or even playing around with the actual name. Then go ahead and enter a username and security pin and choose the billing cycle you'd like. And I'm going to go with the whole year as it's slightly cheaper this way. Next, enter in billing information here and make sure you use an email address you can access as HostGator will email you with your login details afterward. Next, you'll see it's added on extras here. You want to uncheck these as you don't need them. And now you want to enter the coupon code here. So enter WordPress Hero to be sure to validate your savings and you'll see the cost will go right down, saving you up to 60% off your entire hosting depending on the hosting package you choose. If you decide to go with a year or more, it will unlock a free domain, which is cool. Now, you should know that we do get a small affiliate commission for anybody that signs up. And we're going to save you money by getting you the lowest price possible. So it really is a win-win. You get the lowest price possible, and we get a small commission for you signing up. So it's great for everybody. And it helps support us to continue to make this content for you. Now, when you're happy with everything, click on Check Out Now, and you'll be the proud owner of your very own new website address. Okay, awesome. Now you'll receive a couple of emails from HostGator with your login details and some links to different things. This is very important, so you want to find the cPanel link here and click on that. The cPanel is where you can install WordPress to your domain name and also do lots more stuff with your website. So log in using the username and password which you chose. And in case you can't remember, they're both in the email you just received. Okay, awesome, you should be in the C panel, and at first this might look a bit overwhelming. We're just gonna do two things here, it's real simple. Scroll down, 
And the first thing we're gonna do is ensure we're using the latest software to run our WordPress website. So click on right here where it says software, you wanna to go to multi PHP manager. Go ahead and click this. And at the time of this recording, it's set at 7.0. It might be lower for you. Just raise it to the highest one. So right now it's 7.4 or 7.4. And you wanna select your domain and then click apply. That's all you gotta do. So now we have the latest software installed. Head back. And then right here under popular links, you wanna click on WordPress installer. And this is how we're gonna install WordPress. It's real simple. So all you're gonna do is click on install now. And right here, you wanna make sure you select your domain name. I have several here, you're probably just gonna have one. So pick the one you just purchased. We have the latest software right here for the WordPress install, so WordPress 5.5. And then put in a good you know, site title here. And you can always edit this later. So I'll just type in create your... And then for your site description, you can update this if you want. I'm gonna leave that for now, just for this example. And then your admin account. Now this is how you're gonna log in to your WordPress website. So you wanna select a good username and a good password. So I'm gonna go ahead and update this real quick. Perfect. And make sure you have a good email address here. If you ever need to reset your password, this is where it will go. So make sure that's a good email address and you are good to go. So then head down here and make sure you note your username and password so you can log in to the back end of your WordPress website. Okay, so just this stuff right here. Whatever you chose, just write that down or put it in a Word doc, whatever. So click install and you're about to be the proud owner of a new website. So once this installs, we're gonna log into the back end of WordPress so we can start editing the site. Okay, perfect. So now all you're gonna do is this link right here will lead you, or it says wp-admin, to the back end of your WordPress website. So go ahead and click this. And you might get an error message saying that the page isn't available yet. And you might have to wait until everything with your new website is set up. Then click the link again. Now, this is completely normal. It just takes a little bit for your website to become live online. And also, you might have to set up the name servers for your new website. So don't worry about this. It's super easy. All you need to do is head over to HostGator again, and once you're there, click on the customer portal. Now log in using the username and password, which you'll find in the email HostGator sent you. Now you wanna click on domains, and click on your domain, and find name servers. And then click on change. Then click on automatically point to my domain, to my hosting account. Then save, and you are all done. Now, you should be able to click on that link again, enter your username and password to log into WordPress, and you're in. Okay, awesome. You should now be in your WordPress dashboard, and you are now the proud owner of an online website. So congratulations. Well done for sticking with it. It's a huge achievement, and this is where the real fun is about to begin. And this is the WordPress dashboard, and think of it like the heart of your website where you can edit and change different things. Now, there's lots of different things going on in here, and we're gonna talk about these very soon, so don't let it scare you or make you feel overwhelmed. It's not daunting at all. It's actually super easy to work with WordPress. And I'm gonna show you how in this video. So the first thing I want you to do is just go ahead and X out any of these notifications and if yours does look a little bit different than mine, you have some more notifications, that's okay. Just X them all out for now. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and take a peek and see what your website looks like right now. So head up here to the left and see the little home. Right click on that and open it up in a new tab. Now, as you can see, it's really plain. There's not a lot going on, but that's gonna change real soon. We're gonna get this bad boy dialed in and properly set up in a way to connect with your audience. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to the WordPress dashboard area and go ahead and leave both these tabs open. This way we can see live edits. Now right here where it says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page, once you're ready to launch your site, click here. Go ahead and click this now. This way we'll have a live page that we can take a peek at when we want. And it's not showing a coming soon page. So now I want you to head down here to settings 
and then click on permalinks. Now this is real important. This is gonna help with your search engine optimization so people can find you online. So all you have to do is just update this to post name. And this makes it much easier for the search engines like Google to find your website. So people searching for your business or your services will be able to find your website. So make sure you go ahead and save everything. And now what we'll do is head back to the dashboard. So next, in order to easily change the functionality and look of our website, we're gonna install a new theme. So the new theme is called Astra, and it's awesome. So to install the theme, let's head over here and then click on Appearance, and now click on Themes. And then click on New. and then search for Astra. Here it is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and install this theme. So just go ahead and click Install, and then click Activate. Okay, awesome, so the theme is now activated, and now we're gonna install a plugin which comes with this theme. So by installing this plugin, we'll be able to easily customize our theme. So to install that plugin, let's go to Plugins, and then click on Add New. Now search for the plugin called Astra Starter Sites. So here it is right here. So we wanna go ahead and click Install, and then click Activate. So the plugin is now installed. Now this plugin has a collection of pre-built starter websites that you can use on your website. So to see those starter sites, let's head over here to Appearance and then click on Starter Templates. Then click on Elementor. Elementor is the free tool that you use to customize your website. And now you have all these different websites that you can choose from. It's amazing. Full websites. So some of them say agency, and that means they're paid. And we want to just go ahead and up here and toggle free. I mean, they have it all. Businesses, restaurants, interior design, artists, shops, pet stores, plumbers, dental, construction, fitness trainer. It's amazing. I mean, look at all this stuff. Never has it been so easy to make a beautiful website. Now, whether you're an entrepreneur, business owner, freelancer, influencer, you're covered, saving you a ton of time and money, and all without the overwhelm and headache of trying to get a website customized with a preset template. Trust me, it's game changing. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this design, and now you can see what the site will look like. Now, if you're ready to install, just click on Import the site. Now the design and the demo content will be imported into your site. And once it's done, we can see how the site will look. So let's click View Site. Okay, awesome. So as you can see, the demo has been imported into our website. And now this is how it looks. And you can also see the other pages as well which also have the demo content. So once you've got the starter site installed, you can now go to the final step, which is customizing the content. So to edit any bit of the site, you just have to go to that page and click Edit with Elementor. So let's say that you want to edit the home page. You just simply click Home, and then click Edit with Elementor. And now we'll go into editing this section. So let's say you want to change the text here. You just select that text, and then start typing anything you want. Now I'm going to simply update this text to Profitable Business Website. Now if you wanted to change the text in this button here, you would just click in the button, and then do the same thing. So I could type in Get Started. So this is how you edit text on any page throughout your entire website. It's so easy. Now if you want to update this image back here, 
All you do is click on these six dots, go to style, and then choose image. And you can upload one from your computer, select files, and it's that easy. Insert media. Pretty cool, right? Now, if we wanted to adjust this hero image some, we could head over here. And if we go to attachment and then we select fixed, this will create a parallax effect, which I think looks really cool. And if you go down to background overlay, you can create an overlay effect, which will make this image darker. So if we go to this black, that completely blacks it out and we can change it, adjusting it like that which is kind of cool, just little tweaks that you can do. And if we head down here, same stuff. This is a new section of this page. Click in here to edit the text. And you can edit it here. If you wanted to go to the style and update the typography, you could click on typography. You can change the family or the font right here. Click back in here. You can adjust the size and change that as such. And same stuff here. These are images. You can update the image right here for the icon and then edit the text. Same stuff here. Click in here, go to style, update the image. Now, if you don't want a section, you can exit out. Not bad, right? Or if you wanted to move things around, you could head over here to the navigator. And here are all the sections of this page. So if we scroll down a little bit, these are all the sections. We can move them up, change things around. If we wanted to go back in time, we can go to history. And that takes us back, you see? Pretty cool, right? So we can close this out. Once you're happy with everything, just go ahead and click Update. And this is how you edit every page of your website. Real easy. You just play with it some, and obviously you can see you can't break anything. And now we've saved the entire page, and then we can click on Preview Changes right here to view the website. Okay, awesome. So now you can see all the changes are here. So now you know how to edit any page on your website. Next, I'm gonna show you how to edit the header in the footer area of your website. Now to edit your header, it's a little bit different. You're gonna head up to customize and click that. And if you head to your logo right here and click the blue pencil, you can change the logo right here. If you wanna change this call to action, you can change it right here. Real simple. Now if you wanted to create a transparent header, all you would do is head back this way, then click on transparent header, and then toggle this, and you'll create a transparent header. Pretty nice, right? Now see, you can't really see the color so well there. You can update that by scrolling down here, and then click on the pencil by menu, and then you can change the color to whatever you want. And when you're happy with everything, go ahead and click publish. Then we'll X out of this. Nice. And now to edit the footer, head over here, then hover over Edit with Elementor, and then click on Footer. And this is the same exact deal. Any text you wanna update, just click in there, update the text. If you wanna update your social channels, click on the social channel you wanna update, and click into it. You can change the icon by clicking on the icon library and searching for what you want right here and pop in your links right here. It's that easy. And then once you're done with everything, just go ahead and update, and then click these three lines, and then exit to dashboard. Then head up to your site title and click on visit site. So now you know how to edit the header in the footer area. Now what if you wanted to add a new page? For example, a product page. So it's very simple. All you need to do is head up here, and then right here, click new and then click page go ahead and close this out and then title your page here and then click edit with elementor 
So now it will take you to this blank section, and now you have a couple of options to create your page. Now first you can use the elements, which are over here, and then drag and drop them into this area. So for example, if you want to add a heading, you can just drag and drop this element here, and then add in your text. And to add an image, you can drag and drop this element and start creating your page. Or you can use a pre-built template. So we'll head down here, click on History, and then click Editing Started. And it will start back from the very beginning. Now we can click on one of these two to add in a page template. Now we've already been using this right here, which is Astra Starter Sites. So let's try this one. So we click this, and this is the Elementor page templates. So they have a lot of different pages. Now these are individual pages. So we'll search for product. And I like this one right here. So we can take a look at it. Awesome, right? And I'll import this entire page. So we want to click Insert. Now we need to connect to Elementor to make this work. So you just gotta simply register real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in to connect Elementor with my website. And you'll have to register real quick if you're a new user. So I'm gonna connect the two. Then it's gonna take us back to the Elementor dashboard. So we're gonna head back to our pages and then click on All Pages. Then let's head to the product draft page and then click edit with Elementor. Then head back to the Elementor template library right here. Then search for product again. Here it is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click insert. Okay, awesome, so here's the whole page. And just like before, edit everything just as I've shown you. Now you can update this YouTube URL by just clicking that pencil and then just changing the link right here to whatever YouTube video you want. And right here, see how this is a little bit too high? And click the six dots and make sure you'll be in layout, but you want to head to advanced. And this is the margin, so we want to bring this up to about, say, 100. You can just play with it some. That looks good. And update and publish. Now let's check out the page and the site. So we can click on preview changes. And yeah, that looks awesome. Now you can see we can't see our menu here. So I'm gonna change this back to black. So I'm gonna click customize. Header. Transparent header, scroll down, click on the menu pencil. Perfect. Yeah, that looks awesome. So now I'm gonna show you how to create a custom menu. So if you don't have all these pages, you don't need them all. I'm gonna show you how to adjust this to show just the pages you wanna show. So head over here, and then click on Menus. Here's where you can customize your menu. Now here are all the pages we currently have on our menu. If we wanted to add the product page, be sure to select View All, click Product, and then Add to Menu. There it is, and then we can adjust the menu, just like that. And if I save the menu, and then view the site, there it all is. Now if you don't want anything, you can just head back and remove what you don't want. Visit the site. So that's it. This is how you can add new pages to your website. 
So now you know how you can launch your website by getting a domain and hosting, input the demo content, and then edit it to make it your own website. So if you're ready to start making your own website, just head over to HostGator.com. It will take you to the page which we saw in the first step, which was choosing a domain and hosting. So just pick a domain and build your website. Thank you very much. I'm James Stafford.